Shalom, Yashala. I'm going to start by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yukakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well through the Akwakodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in highways and bowers doing this work and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and most respect unto the elect and to full elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step into the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wah Yahusha Mashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. To this lesson, it's about 2024, start with the bang. And the people in Israel, the small heart, they are language, they are language, man. The morning and then at rest, because they'll say to the Lord, there's no peace to the wicked, man. There's no peace, say my God, to the wicked. And there's a, there's a reason for that, for that, right? Because, hey, that the wicked of this earth, man, Esau, Edom, and the, the Amalekite that we will speak of, right? And let's, let's, uh, it's not supposed to be a long lesson. It's supposed to be a when a few scriptures to show you. Hey, hey, 2024 start with a bang. And that's all it, that's all there is to it. Right? And then let's go to the YouTube. This from Dabu77. As you can see, this is W7, Earthquake Works Japan evacuation order as over 40 quicks, okay? 40 quicks, okay? 40 quicks struck Western coastline. 40 quicks, people. See? That's what I, that's what I said. And the title is uh, 2024, start with a bang. A massive 7.5, 7.6 earthquake strike off the coast of Japan. This is reminiscent of what happened back in 2011. There was a tsunami warning issued initially here. It has been retracted, although an alert is still out there, and they are telling folks not to return home if you live on the coast in Japan here where this quake hit. They feel that some of these tsunami waves could still come in and cause damage. This is the Ishikawa Prefecture. Many homes damaged in this. Many buildings damaged. Lights out for tens of thousands of people. And as of right now, this is a look at some of the damage that has been done. You can see roadways completely buckled and snapped in half here. Homes have crumbled. You can see other parts of roadways have just given away. People trapped and rescue efforts are ongoing. So this is an ongoing situation. There has been over 40 major earthquakes strike in this area on the western side of Japan. This is opposite of where we saw the quakes in 2011. Nonetheless, Japan susceptible to letting off these big quakes. And you can see here, this is right off of where we have a cut going right through Japan. But this is some of the latest. Wanted to make people aware of the issue. I will continue to update as I get information. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more and hit that subscribe button as well. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all. And this is again... Uh, we are now learning that at least three people in Japan are dead after a series of earthquakes hit the country's west coast. Now, local media is reporting that they died in building collapses. Those quakes, they also triggered widespread tsunami warnings, sparked power outages, and buckled major roads. Officials are scrambling right now to help tens of thousands of people who are being forced to evacuate as temperatures now drop into the low 30s. NBC News foreign correspondent Megan Fitzgerald joins us with the latest. Uh, Megan, if you can, just sort of walk us through from the beginning everything that we do know about what happened and what officials are telling people to do right now to just prepare for what's still coming. Hey, well, Morgan. As you can see, uh, this is two major news. Uh, to a uh, to a uh, major news telling you that earthquake happened uh, in, in Japan, right? And then and the next thing you know, gravity as Ewan's worship into Red Sea, West Asia start a 
West Asia starting at the full scale war. You see, that's wars and women's of war, earthquakes, wars and women's of war, okay? This is Gravitas, right? A Iron warship enter Red Sea. West Asia start a full-scale war. Okay? That's exactly what's going, going on right now. Wars and rumors of wars and earthquake going in diverse places out here, right? Split. Will there be a full-scale war in West Asia in 2024? It is just day one of the new year and the signs are pointing at something dangerous. Iran's warship has entered the Red Sea. We are looking at the possibility of the US and the UK joining the war in West Asia. I will start by telling you what happened over the weekend. The Houthi fighters came face to face with the US forces. It happened in the Red Sea. On Sunday, Houthi fighters attacked a Singapore flagged commercial vessel. The Houthis were trying to board this ship. The security on board the vessel was trying to fight the Houthis. And that's when the US forces patrolling the Red Sea arrived on scene. These were helicopters from the USS Eisenhower Carrier Group. The Houthi fighters reportedly opened fire at the choppers. The American troops retaliated, the US Central Command claims, and I quote, the US Navy helicopters returned fire in self-defense, sinking three of the four small boats and killing the crews. The fourth boat fled the area. There was no damage to US personnel or equipment. What about the Houthis? The Yemen-based group put out a statement. It said 10 of their fighters had died in the incident. Allow me to quote again. The American enemy bears the consequences of this crime. Its military movements in the Red Sea to protect Israeli ships won't prevent the Houthis from performing their religious, moral and humanitarian duty to support and aid of those who have been wronged in Palestine and Gaza. The war in Gaza has spilled into the Red Sea. And this is the new flashpoint, perhaps the most dangerous one this new year. What happened on Sunday was the first direct firefight between the U.S. troops and the Houthis. So where do things go from here? Towards something more dangerous. Reports say Allied forces are preparing for an attack on the Houthis. The British and American troops are working on a plan. At least one more European country could be joining in. The British Defence Secretary... Grant Chaps shared some details in his article in The Telegraph. He said, and I quote, The Houthis should be under no misunderstanding. We are committed to holding malign actors accountable for unlawful seizures and attacks. Reports say the UK and the US are expected to issue a verbal final warning to the Houthis. The statement obviously will ask for the Houthis to stand down in the Red Sea. And this could come any time now. Chances are the attacks won't stop. Houthis have vowed to continue fighting alongside Hamas. So what's part two of the plan? Reports say the UK may send a warship. As you can see, hey, and with this year, man, 2024, enter with a bang. Okay, earthquake, more wars, more rumors of wars, and a full-scale war, like maybe World War III, what's going on right here in the persecution of uh of, of the teachers, the prophets, as in Howies and Bowies, man. Hey, like the elders, Quinn, that, hey, 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 Jacob Trouble, man. It's on his way. In 2024, it's going to be like a major year for major prophecy to fulfill, okay? You got the MOTB, the microchip, hey, all those things is to come to pass. And Yahweh, powered by Hashem Yahushai, a prophesies of all those things, uh, uh, in the latter days, man. And hey, let's get to A. And then we have, uh, we have this article from Israel, from Airways. Let me see. From Airways, right? Airways. Airways, okay? Israel knows the number of calories for guys in survival. A few is war crime. In, as mental health system in Israel face collapse, score as psychiatrists are living for Britain. You see, it's, those psychiatrists are overwhelmed with the number of uh, a of mental problem that have they have in Israel. Okay, and those people got no rest because of the world's lesser source attribute the brain drain to the growing workload and sense that the situation will only worsen as. Is health ministry plan to fix the system? Still await funding approval from the, from the treasury. Dozens of psychiatrists working in Israel 
public mental systems have left recently for Britain. Sus, a, a sus interceptor said this is to come at a time when demand for mental health service in Israel are going due to the Gaza war. You see? Mental health services are going in, 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 uh, in Israel right now, in the land of Israel, the small hats again are having problem, okay, with their mental health. And now psychiatrists are fleeing those, this place because uh, the demand for the service are overwhelming and this, the pay is not increased, right? And that's what's going on right now. That's what the Lord say, man, there's no peace to the wicked out here. And the Lord going to punish Esau, Edom, the Amalekite for all their things, for all their lies, for all their crimes against, against not only against the Israelites, the so-called black Latino American, but against the, the people of this earth. It's the Lord eh, eh, that put in that perverse spirit upon this earth, man. The Lord's not playing. Okay? Let's go to uh, KJV. Let's go to the Holy Bible, Apocrypha, right? Let's go to uh, Second Interest 9. Verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure do the time diligently in itself when thou see a spot of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then should I understand that is the very same time when end the highest will begin to visit the wall which he made. See, that's exactly what's going on here. Yeah, our power, yeah, how about Hashem, our shy is visiting the earth which he made when you see all those signs coming to pass. Therefore, when they shall see earthquake and all of the people on the wall, you see earthquakes, 40 earthquakes in Japan alone. This earthquake and part of the wall, but uh, Japan was the major earthquake, 7.6 AA in the, in the scale. Okay, that's a major earthquake, and 40 of them are at least 4.5, 4.2. That's still major earthquake, too, right? Shaking buildings, shaking foundation of those buildings, and not a big uh, hit like that. And the next couple of weeks, building will fall like uh, fig trees down here, down there. See, and you, that's the hope of the people. When you see people like uh, uh, in Yemen, uh, the Houthis, a, a, uh, uh, get on the streets, at least two point two million on them. That's all of the people, and then fighting against those powers. That's all of the people again. Then should they well understand that the Mosai I speak. Of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and end, and the end is manifest. See, the end is manifest, okay, 2024. The end is being manifest daily, okay? And the Lord is showing us, the prophet, the teachers of Yashala, that hey, it's moving, things moving. Fret not Jacob, things moving, man. And to let Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha, it's not playing. Okay. Let's go to uh, to uh, a couple more scriptures on that one. Isaiah chapter twenty-six, Isaiah twenty-nine, verse six. Isaiah chapter twenty-nine. Verse 6, those shall be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise, with storm of tempest and the flame of devouring fire. See, as you can see, Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai is in the world right now uh, uh, with tempest, earthquake, up of the people and great noise with tempest, and with storm and tempest. They storm everywhere right now and, uh, on this earth and the flame of devouring fire. All those wars. All those fires starting in in uh in diverse places, all those things coming to pass, man. And Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushua gonna bring pure pressure upon this world that He created, and our people have to be up and waking up to these things going on right here. And let's get our Lord and Savior, King of Kings, Yahweh Mashiach, speaking of those things coming to pass, right? Let's go to Matthew twenty four and six.
Matthew 24, verse 6, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye not be see not that ye be not trouble, for all those things must come to pass. But at the end, but the, the end is not yet. See, I see, you see, war is going on right now. They're talking about full-scale wars right now, right? For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake and diverse places, places, right? And all those, where those wars starting right now, especially in Gaza, a famine is going on, it's going on ramping down there, right? And you see the earthquake in diverse places. All this are beginning of souls. That's all the beginning of souls to what to focus on the earth. And it's going to get worse and worse. According to the word of Yahweh, power by Hashem, Yahweh, because hey, when Taylor send this plague, who can, uh, let's get that scripture real quick. Hey, no one can quench that. Let's get uh, second interest. Mm. 16 and 11. Mm. Hey, it's second interest 16, verse 8. The mighty Lord sent the plague. Who is it that can drive them away? No one can drive. When the Lord send those plague out, right here, those things coming to pass, no one can drive those things away. A fire shall go forth from his wife. Who is it that may quench it? Hey, the Lord send that fire. No one gonna be able to quench that fire. It shall cast lightning, and it, who shall not fear? It shall thunder, who shall not be afraid? They say, hey, the nation are, are afraid right now, and they're in fear of a full blown scale scale war uh, in the Middle East. Yahweh power shall threaten who shall not be utterly bidden to powder at his presence. This is the Lord's threatening right now, right? The earth quaked and the foundation thereof to see a wise with wave from the deep and the wave of it are trouble. Like you see, the earth quaked. And with, that, with the earth quake right now, we got two meters, five meters of uh, water of sea. We're going to land. They're trying to people to say people stay away from the coastline because the, the, the sea might rise up. And kill people and kill, okay. And the wave of it are trouble. You see, the the, the, the wave are trouble right now, and they're going higher and higher, right? And the fish thereof also before the Lord Yahweh and before the glory of his power. Okay? It's the glory of the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai showing in this world that we live in. Okay? That's exactly what we see. And Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is not playing with the hidden nation. Okay? Our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, is not playing. In verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me on in those days? The beginning of souls and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. This is the beginning of wars of wars right here. Okay, big time wars going on right here. And the power shall stand in fear. And those powers are in fear right now. See what's going on right now. Hey, that's not what they want. They don't want to, hey, to, to, those regional war, those full-scale wars in 2024. They want everything to go back to peace. But hey, it's not, that's not going to happen. The beginning of evil, which, what shall I do when those evils come? And evil's coming upon this earth. Evil and more evils coming upon this earth. Big old famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. For all those things that shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Okay, this will not, they're not, they're not gonna repent for all the wickedness that done upon this earth, nor be mindful of the scourges. Okay, they think everything's gonna go uh, uh, as planned. Behold, virtues shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Even then shall evil go upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. See? I see great famine and, and confusion. More wars, more famine. Famine gonna spread with all those wars spreading. Famine gonna spread upon this earth, man. And great confusion. People it, it, everywhere gonna be in confusion right now. What's going on? Everybody asking what's going on. It's not what they sign up for. It's not that's not the world they want to live in. That's all confusion. But if they know the prophecy, they should know that it's the time that the Lord Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua is in the earth. Okay? And like I like you said earlier, right? Let's go to uh Isaiah, as you can see, eh, the Lord, eh, 
there's no peace to the uh, for the wicked man okay let's go to 57 verse 20 Isaiah 57 verse 20 but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest whose water cause up my and dirt you see for the, 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 the trouble see right now the, the wicked they're in trouble see they can they cannot rest right now they're not at rest they're trouble whose water cast up my and dirt when it's something cast my and dirt hey, it's like you see it's confusion you can see forward you can see behind you hey all those things cause confusion there is no peace say my power to the wicked the Lord is not going to give no peace to the wicked out here. The wicked live is out is in the land. The small hearters, those Amalekites in the land, there's going to be no peace for those people, man. And they're not going to be out of for all those wickedness that perpetually uh, do in the land. Yeah, how power by Hashem is not going to give them peace, man. And and peace is coming for Israel, okay? For the true Israelites, you so-called black Latinos and American. Yeah, how power by Hashem is not gonna give those people peace, man. And let's go to uh why? The Lord's not gonna give them peace because hey, guess what? Hey. Isaiah uh fifty six verse ten. Isaiah chapter twenty six. Verse 10, let favor be true to the wicked, yet you will not learn righteousness. Because, hey, the Lord show them favor, man. To let, let them have the land. They claim to be the people. They claim to follow after the law, but their wickedness is, is, is probable upon, upon, upon that land. Homosexuality is everywhere. Okay? The, hey, hey. They believe more in the Talmud than to go of your heart. Power by Hashem Yahushai. Where in the Talmud is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. In the land of uprighteousness will it deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. See? Yahweh power, when their hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for the envy of the people. Yea, the fire of thy enemy shall devour them. See? The fire of the enemy is going to devour them. Then. That's why they're not at rest, man. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha will not give them rest. Because, because they are the wicked of the earth. And the Lord will not give rest to them, man. There's no peace to those people. And let's get to Isaiah um, 24 and 4. Isaiah 24 and 4 uh, and four, the earth mourning and faded away the world language and faded away the all the people of the earth do language you see this poor language right now and people of the earth are language language right now right they're in a, 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 a bad state the earth also is defied under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance broke into everlasting covenant see all those people claiming to be israelites they say they got the law but they don't keep any of those laws. They don't keep the lamb Sabbath. They not the, the men of their words. They don't they don't hold covenant. They make all the with other nations. They break all those covenants. Those all those contracts they have with all this nation. Especially with our people, they break all those covenants. To know why money, they vie and languish it, and all their merry heart do sight. See all those new wine, the new philosophy they come out with to get to find a a a a, 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 a solution a, 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 for all those things going up on this earth. Hey, those all those things are new wines, and those wine mourn. They cannot do anything. They cannot save. They cannot uh uh, uh stop what what the Lord are put in, are put out right here. The myth of tab tablets cease to nurse of them that we just ended. The joys of the heart cease. Okay, when when a uh, October seven happened, when Hamas uh, uh what caught uh, so called what Hamas did and and October seven, this was a uh, uh, in the state of mirth and that thing ceased immediately. They couldn't they, they couldn't even celebrate a, a, a Christmas in that land. 
which is wicked holidays anyway, right? In the land. A lot of things that some people don't want to do in the land, they couldn't do it no more. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be better to them that drink it. That's exactly what we see. Those people need psychiatrist help. Mental health problem they have. Because they're not at rest. They're scared. And this is the will of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh shine. This, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. You see, you see the city is broken down right now. You see? They try to come with, with mani, 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 manipulation uh, uh, tactic. Uh, uh, with the with the media or everything like that to show you oh they're strong, but you find out hey those psychiatrists are running away from those people because too many hey, they're overwhelmed by those things. Verse ten: The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. You see, this city broken down. There's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The, 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 the mirth of the land of Israel are gone. Now it's nothing but mourning and language, man. And hey, all joy is darkened in Israel right now, man. For, the, for those Amalekite, for those small hatters, man. All joy is darkened. Mental health problem is at, is at peak in, in Jerusalem. Next thing that's coming is in the city is left desolation and to get smitten with destruction. Okay? And that's exactly what's going to happen. But the children of Israel will sing in the praise. They shall lift their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of Yahweh. They shall cry aloud from the sea, man. That's exactly what we're doing. We, we, it, 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 we're in the land of captivity. We're calling upon the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hmm? Wherefore glorify ye Yahweh and the fire, even the name of Yahweh, God of Israel, the power of Israel, and the house of the sea. We're in the house of the sea right now. All those are all these islands where we're in, we are gaining up, we're calling upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shamashek upon this earth, man. Hey. Yahweh power by Hashem is bringing is bringing it on, man. And that you should pray for that, that the Lord put those people out of business. And make the and make the people on this on this wall for all their wickedness and all those pollution they have done upon this earth, man. That the Lord darken uh, their heart, man, and give them and make them afraid in every side. Okay, and that's what this, the people in Israel are feeling right now. And with that, I hope you brothers and sisters edify. I'm gonna close this lesson by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yukakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and rule will well to the Aquakodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in house and bowels doing this work in truth and sincerity to what the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and to full elect sons and daughters of Yashala that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wa Yahusha Mashiach. Shalom, shalom, shalom.